MEN stands for multiple endocrine neoplasia, and it represents a disease where there are tumors of the thyroid, the parathyroid, the adrenal gland, and the pituitary gland. There's different variants of multiple endocrine neoplasia. There's type 1 and there's type 2. 1 is parathyroid disease combined with pituitary tumors and pancreas tumors. And then another subtype is a special kind of thyroid cancer called medullary thyroid cancer. And it, in multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2, is associated with parathyroid disease as well as pheochromocytoma, which is an adrenal tumor uh, that secretes adrenaline. Typical symptoms, patients will present with uh, findings of uh, a neck mass, um, so they think they have a, they feel like they have a lump in their throat. Uh, if they have a um, multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2, they may have symptoms of a racing heart, uh, sweating spells, uh, and feelings of um, uh, very uh, jitteriness. If they have multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1, they may have a history of kidney stones or flank pain. They may have a history of abdominal pain. Uh, and they may have a history of having been told by their clinician that they just have an elevated calcium. Symptoms may include patients who have a familial history of kidney stones, a familial history of thyroid cancer, or may have a familial history of tumors that secrete adrenaline. These patients may have family members who all have suffered from very bad hypertension or high blood pressure, strokes, or even heart attacks. At the Endocrine Neoplasia Center, it's common for us to see patients who may have a genetic component to their disease. This means their family members are at risk for having the same disease. Because at the center we do not require referrals, we are able to schedule appointments for those family members who may be at risk of having the same disease within one week to one month of seeing their loved one. This allows us to have rapid ability for diagnostics of other patient family members that may be affected by the same genetic condition. Depending on what genetic disease it is, there may be up to a 50% chance that that family member may have the same disease. Many times these diseases can develop over long periods of time, but when they finally have developed, it's too late. In this way, we're able to diagnose the disease while it is in its earliest and most curable form in other family members.